The peak expiratory flow, also called peak expiratory flow rate is a person's maximum speed of expiration, as measured with a peak flow meter, a small, handheld device used to monitor a person's ability to breathe out air. It measures the airflow through the bronchi and thus the degree of obstruction in the airways. Function Peak flow readings are higher when patients are well, and lower when the airways are constricted. From changes in recorded values, patients and doctors may determine lung functionality, severity of asthma symptoms, and treatment. First measure of precaution would be to check patient for signs and symptoms of asthmatic hypovolemia. This would indicate whether or not to even continue with the peak flow meter procedure. Measurement of PEFR requires training to correct the user meter and the normal expected value depends on a patient's sex, age and height. It is classically reduced in obstructive lung disorders such as asthma. Due to the wide range of normal values and high degree of variability, peak flow is not the recommended test to identify asthma. However, it can be useful in some circumstances. A small portion of people with asthma may benefit from regular peak flow monitoring. When monitoring is recommended, it is usually done in addition to reviewing asthma symptoms and frequency of reliever medication use. When peak flow is being monitored regularly, the results may be recorded on a peak flow chart. It is important to use the same peak flow meter every time. Scales or reference values to interpret the significance of peak expiratory flow measurements. Comparison is made to reference values based on measurements taken from the general population. Various reference values have been published in the literature and vary by population, ethnic group, age, sex, height and weight of the patient. For this reason tables or charts are used to determine the normal value for a particular individual. More recently, medical calculators have been developed to calculate predicted values for peak expiratory flow. There are a number of non-equivalent scales used in the interpretation of peak expiratory flow. Some examples of reference values are given below. There is a wide natural variation in results from healthy test subjects. Right scale, N13826 or EU scale, NHANESIII reference values provided by the Society of Asthmatic Medicine, NHANESIII reference values provided by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control. In 2004 the UK switched from the original right scale to the newer, more accurate European scale. Right values may be converted to the EU scale using the following formula. The reverse calculation is where is the value in the right scale? These formulas have also been trended over time in both rural and metropolitan areas both as air quality studies and as studies on asthma due to the peak flow measurements accuracy as a predictor of mortality and poor prognosis. Measurement the highest of three readings is used as the recorded value of the peak expiratory flow rate. It may be plotted out on graph paper charts together with a record of symptoms or using peak flow charting software. This allows patients to self-monitor and pass information back to their doctor or nurse. Peak flow readings are often classified into three zones of measurement according to the American Lung Association, green, yellow, and red. Doctors and health practitioners can develop an asthma management plan based on the green, yellow, red zones. History The measurement of peak expiratory flow was pioneered by Martin Wright, who produced the first meter specifically designed to measure this index of lung function. Since the original design of instrument was introduced in the late 1950s, and the subsequent development of a more portable, lower-cost version, other designs and copies have become available across the world.